My gouache reviews are from a landscape painter's perspective. I've tested and reviewed many top gouache brands over the years, and I'll leave links to those brand reviews in the description below. But I'm here today to share my review of two brands that I just recently got my hands on, My Mary Gouache and Turner Design Gouache. Let's dive in, starting with My Mary. My Mary is an Italian company, and this gouache seems well-loved, especially in Europe, perhaps because it's more affordable in this part of the world. I live in Scotland and could only find it from a Spanish art store called Art Miranda, otherwise I would have had to pay very hefty shipping and import fees. The price is very similar to Windsor Newton for me, but I don't like to talk too much about price as it can vary drastically from country to country. The 20 milliliter tubes are a little larger than usual, and they have a unique cap design that kind of reminds me of Arisa's peanut butter cup. The paint squeezed out very easily and looked rather creamy and thick. And whenever I test a new brand, I buy a very limited palette because it gives me a better feel for the standard primary pigments and how they mix. I always start with simple swatches. And I noticed the yellow, magenta, and phthalo blue were very transparent which, you know, isn't that uncommon in gouache, but it was something I just needed to keep my eye on. Then I move into color mixing, and it gives me a really good idea of how much variety I can achieve with my limited palette. I liked the way these pigments mixed, however, I noticed the transparency of the yellow started to become an issue. It was a little difficult to mix vibrant and opaque greens uh, because the yellow was pretty weak. If I wanted to increase the opacity, I needed to add white, which of course desaturates the color. As the swatches dried, I started to notice something a little odd. It's sort of hard to show on camera, but the colors looked quite pastel or a little dull or maybe a little chalky, some might say. I dug out my Holbein swatches to compare, which confirmed what I saw. Normally, high quality gouache is extremely vibrant and rich, but the My Mary definitely had a very pastel or chalky or cloudy appearance. Compared directly to the same pigment in Holbein, you can see how much lighter the My Mary is. The yellow had the same issue as the magenta. When looking at the color mixes, I could see the My Mary were not able to achieve the same deep, rich, or saturated mixes as my other brands. Even my really cheap Kimi Mia didn't look as chalky or cloudy. However, the My Mary gouache was still more opaque and less streaky than the Mia Himi. It's just that cloudiness was quite prevalent. But cloudiness aside, it was time to see how the paint actually performed during a painting. I can get over the chalky pastel look and I can even use that to my advantage to create a very serene landscape with a delicate color balance. What I can't get over is poor performance. And unfortunately, I did not enjoy painting with the My Mary gouache. It performed very similarly to my Royal Talons gouache, which contains dextrin. It's a different type of binder with inherent thixotropy, <laughs> that's a hard word to say, thixotropy, which means that when left alone, it stays still and it can be rather firm, and then it requires a lot of friction and movement in order to glide or move smoothly across the paper. It was difficult to spread the My Mary gouache over larger distances, and it had that very sticky feeling. Filling in the sky and the water with my normal strategy was pretty much impossible. I needed to load up way more paint and water than usual and move my brush really fast in order to get it to glide and achieve my desired result. So since I needed to increase the water content, this naturally made the pigment more transparent, which is not what I wanted. To counteract that, I could add a bit more white, but again, that desaturates the color. Compared to my favorite gouaches, such as Windsor Newton, Shin Han, Holbein, or Schmincke Horadam, the My Mary gouache was nowhere near as flexible or opaque or saturated. I actually didn't even bother finish the painting to my standards because I was just annoyed and I wanted to be done painting with it. If you don't need to fill in large areas of opaque, vibrant color, this paint might be completely fine for you. 
it's just we all require different types of properties in our paint to achieve our desired results. For me, doing a landscape painting requires bigger areas of color. I have to spread the paint very far over the paper. And this paint was just not fun <laughs> to use. So while it's far from the worst gouache I've ever used, for the price, it definitely wouldn't be worth buying more of this in my case. So if anyone in the UK is watching this and wants to try it, I'll send it to you. Next up, we have another very highly requested brand, Turner Design Gouache. Oddly enough, this paint is extremely popular, but barely available where I live. Its cousin, the acrylic gouache version, is readily available, but not the design gouache. So again, I had to purchase this through the Spanish art store because it was the most affordable and closest option to me in Scotland. These tubes were almost the exact same price as the My Mary Extra Fine Gouache, but the tubes were even bigger, coming in at a whopping 25 milliliter, which is 10 milliliters over the standard size on the market. A few of the colors had a bit of binder separation, which is not super uncommon in gouache, but just something to watch out for. The white, yellow, and turquoise were a bit runny, but as soon as I started to swatch, I was surprised by the opacity. Even the yellow was opaque, which is much more rare in gouache, but a very pleasant surprise. During color mixing, I was happy to see I could achieve plenty of vibrant greens and purples, and some rich deep tones even with my limited palette. But the true test comes during painting, and the best compliment I can give a paint is that I forget I'm using it. I was able to mix, spread, layer, and just enjoy the process without any fuss. Mostly, I enjoyed the fact that I could layer rich saturated greens that were actually opaque without adding a lot of white. As the paint started to dry out, I could easily layer and get a lot of dry brush textures in both small and large fills, which is an important part of my technique. Overall, I really enjoyed using the Turner Design Gouache and I'll most likely use it in the future. I've updated my gouache database with these new brands and my rankings, and I'll start the light fast test soon and then update that in the future. Let me know if there are any other brands you would like me to check out, but of course, make sure to look at the reviews I've already made as I share tons of information there. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you all next time. Take care.